A controversial D.C. rail tunnel expansion plan now has the green light from the Federal Highway Administration. Neighbors who have opposed the project are up in arms, and now one local group plans to sue. Caroline Tucker tells us what's next for the Virginia Avenue rail tunnel. Take care. Anya Landau French loves her community near Virginia Avenue in Southeast. It's walkable, it's family friendly. But she is not happy about expansion plans for the Virginia Avenue rail tunnel feet from her home. The Federal Highway Administration approved the record of decision Tuesday. That means CSX can now work to get construction permits on the project. We've been feeling for many months now that this has been just a foregone conclusion for the agencies that we were counting on to really do due diligence. They want to cut through all of this. Neighbor Helen Douglas lives in the senior apartments across the street and is worried about the three-year project causing noise and debris. Some people say, well, just move. Well, moving into another affordable house unit is not that easy. FHA says it used public comments to choose a plan that minimizes neighborhood impact. CSX says it still wants to work with community members. We're going to continue to engage with the community to understand their concerns. We're committed to doing this safely. Later this week, the Committee of 100 on the Federal City, a local advocacy group, plans to sue to try to block the project. Only because the record of decision did not adopt the changes we thought were necessary in the final environmental impact statement. Our only option now is to litigate. Lawsuit or not, CSX is pushing forward. We're going to do it right. The city council is funding a broader rail study across the district, but that's expected to take time. Southeast neighbors hope the city will derail the project at least until that is complete. Caroline Tucker, News Channel 8.